Good afternoon and welcome to today's RCS Presents concert. We are at Liverton. My name is Andrea Geich and this is my husband Georgie and we're both lecturers at the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland and we are live from our home here in Glasgow. Uh, we, uh, we're delighted to be able to step in at very short notice. I think it was Tuesday. Tuesday, my gosh. Yes, to perform for you. And we sat down, gave it some thought and have come up with a sort of rather eclectic programme for you today. Um, so it was your well, idea to go out dipping. Yeah, uh, I think uh, that uh, we will uh, start on the bright side okay. of, of, of yes. uh, Romanian yeah. dances. Bartok. Something a little bit more uplifting, exciting. Okay, so Bartok Romanian dances. Um, so Bartok composed these dances in 1915. Um, they were originally written for piano, then subsequently published um, in other instrument, instrumental arrangements. Um, each of them, each of the dances has a title which sort of depicts the, the character. Um, the first one is the stick dance, and this he got a lot of inspiration from on his travels through Transylvania, hearing the uh, gypsy violinists play. Um, the next is the sash dance, um, uh, followed by In One Spot. This uh, is all in harmonics and sounds um, very sort of uh, almost flute-like. Um, it's got a real Middle Eastern flavour to it, as does the horn dance, which is, is uh, the next one, number four. Um, and we move then briskly on to the uh, Romanian polka and uh, the fast dance. The fast dance has got two Romanian melodies in it and, and they sort of move quickly into, into one another. So Bartok's Romanian dances.
next piece on our program is uh, by uh, Nicholas Olsen, Comfortable Unknown. Nicholas wrote this piece for us and uh, we tremendously enjoyed working alongside Nicholas in, in putting this piece together. And uh, we would like to thank him for, for writing this beautiful piece of music. And uh, you will hear from the composer right now. Hi, I'm Nicholas Olsen and I'm the composer of the next piece that you'll hear called Comfortable Unknown. Comfortable Unknown was first performed at the Royal Conservatory of Scotland in January by Andrea and Georgia Guyatt. The piece is based on a quote by Professor Brian Cox, a physicist. I'm comfortable with the unknown, he says. That's the point of science. There are places out there, billions of places out there that we know nothing about. And the fact that we know nothing about them excites me. And I want to go out and find out about them. That's what science is. So I think if you're not comfortable with the unknown, then it's difficult to be a scientist. I don't need an answer. I don't need answers to everything. I want to have answers to find.
The next work we would like to perform for you today is a work by the Estonian composer Arvo Pert. Arvo Pert was born in 1935 and wrote this work, Fratres, in 1977. This work is one of his first compositions to explore the Tintinabuli technique, which he developed during a period of profound personal, artistic and spiritual crisis. Pert wrote of this technique. Tintinnabulation is an area I sometimes wander into when I'm searching for answers in my life, my music, my work. In my dark hours, I have the certain feeling that everything outside this one thing has no meaning. Tintinnabulation is like this. Here I am, alone, with silence. I have discovered it is enough when a single note is beautifully played. Thank you. 
So to conclude this afternoon's concert, we would like to perform to you a work that has been very close to my heart from a very early age. I used to listen to it and uh, aspire to, to be able to play it one day. It is uh, Sarasati's Carmen Fantasy. Um, Sarasati uh, was a great Spanish virtuoso. He uh, studied in Spain, was born in 1844 and died in 1908. He um, wrote a huge uh, collection, huge volumes of Spanish dances and also uh, works uh, based on, on themes from operas, so fantasies. Um, but this is one of, one of his most, most well-known uh, fantasies and it's originally in five movements. We've added uh, the third movement we've added, which is taken from Waxman's uh, Carmen fantasy. Um, and it's the moment in the opera where, where they're all sitting around the fire and, and reading, reading the cards. Um, and the card of destiny yes. comes out. We would like to de dedicate as well this performance to our dear kind of long-standing friend and a supporter, Catherine Liston, who absolutely adores this piece piece of music and uh, on numerous occasions he, she told us how much she loves it. So this is for, yeah. for Catherine. This is for Catherine. She's been a huge supporter um, and I hope that this finds her safe and well. Thank <laughs> you. 